Tonight, another step in the process of expanding the HRBT. That's right. VDOT held its first meeting with citizens after making changes to the approved study last summer. Reporter Jacqueline Lee tells us some people who live near the bridge tunnel were a little skeptical. The homeowners I spoke with here at this meeting said they had some concerns, whether it's environmental concerns or even potential noise pollution. But they all said this project is desperately needed. It's only a three and a half mile stretch, but the traffic in and around HRBT is, well, notorious. Just ask Sandy White. That if I wanted to maybe go over to Hampton at certain times of the day, I could not go. But every Friday night, I feel like setting up a lemonade stand at the top of the ramp because it's a parking lot up there. Homeowners like Mike O'Shea wanted to know how the changes to the project will impact him. We just wanted to know if the intersection was going to be changed enough to interfere with our yard. The proposed changes include expanding the tunnels four lanes to eight through hot lanes and widening the tunnel by eight feet. Carolyn Anderson isn't quite there. I'm thinking the traffic stack up is probably going to be worse for quite a long period of time because it is a long term mega project. The study also proposes to use an undeveloped area on the Willoughby Spit as a construction staging area. And I'd like to know what the impact will be on my property. While homeowner after homeowner said the project is needed, they have environmental concerns. The tributaries to the beach. I just want to make sure that the impact is a, a, a good one. And concerns about more traffic. Oh, I'm wondering what are they going to be able to do to keep this down so that we, the neighbors, don't even have to go out and direct traffic. VDOT tried to address concerns, but some here feel the details are too vague. I have not gotten exact answers to that, but I'm still hopeful. Hopeful that they will find some relief from the traffic congestion in a project set for completion in 2024. In Norfolk, Jacqueline Lee, 13 News Now. We're told there will be another public meeting tomorrow. It will be on the other side of the water at St. Mary's Star of the Sea School in Hampton. That meeting starts at 5 o'clock.